but you'll get it passed out. Tell me what you learned in grade school. Give it to me like you want. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a requested video from some of you guys uh, when I did my live the other well a couple weeks ago you guys asked me to do a video on my crystal so I'm going to do that for you guys today I've been in the comment section trying to figure out what you guys want to see and just taking advice from you guys on what you want to see on my channel and this was one of the more highly requested one for those of you who have been following me for a while and know about my crystal collection these crystals are definitely not going to be every single crystal that i have because i feel like that that would just take forever so it's definitely going to be a more condensed version but i am going to show you guys my crystals also not going to go into great detail about the properties but i am going to recommend the actual um, books that i have which has a lot of information in it as well for those of you who want to know um, more about crystals. So I'm going to have that recommended down below. Also, some of these crystals did come from Amazon, which I thought was amazing because I didn't know that crystals were even sold on Amazon. So when I actually found some crystals on Amazon, I was like, okay, I really need to put out a video and tell people that they can find crystals on Amazon because normally you would have to go to like a crystal shop. Most of the time you have to go to Etsy or to an actual crystal shop. So the fact that they have people who actually sell them on Amazon is amazing. Amazing. Um, with all that being said, let's go ahead and hop in. This is going to be a pretty relaxing, low-key, simple video and I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure that you thumbs up this video so I can at least know that you guys like this type of content and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so these are my crystals. Hopefully this setup is good. Um, you guys will have to tell me if you like this type of setup. So if you're wondering how crystals are formed, they're formed in nature. The basis of a crystal is basically a bunch of molecules packed together, you know, science <laughs> atoms packed together, creating these crystals. So these are what they look like. This one right here is a amethyst. And these to me are the most popular crystals. And this is an amethyst. Amethyst would have to be one of my favorite crystals. And I'm gonna read a little bit from the book that I have that tells a little bit about it just so that I'm not putting my own ideals of what it is um, on here. So it says that amethyst is an extremely powerful and protective stone with a high spiritual vibration. And it is said to guard against any type of negative energy. So those are amethyst. So I wanna show you guys this one, which is another popular one. And this is rose quartz. Rose Quartz is a very gentle, pretty pink stone. They can actually come in all different kinds of colors. So this one's a more like muted pink, but they have um, Rose Quartz that are actually a more deeper pink. Okay, so for this stone in particular, it says in the book that this is a stone for unconditional love and infinite peace. Um, so if you're looking for more peace in your life, you can just grab one of these little stones. Of course, these don't magically just bring things into your life. You have to put intention behind it. And um, there are people who sometimes pray over their, st their stones. Just like in church when they give you grape juice and bread um, to symbolize wine, even though it's not that, but they're putting the intention behind it. You put anything you put a poten intention behind in life, and you invite it into your space, then that can help amplify. So that's what crystals kind of do. And don't forget that these are naturally made in nature. So God made these. God in my eyes is not a God that puts anything in your space that does not serve a purpose. So if he put these here, crystals, they're serving a purpose to earth somehow, some way, and we're a part of that as well. So just wanted to get that out in case anyone tried to like leave a comment, because I know that people have their little sayings that they want to say. All right, so these are um, pyrite, and <laughs> these are really, really small, so I'm not even sure if the camera's focusing on them, but let's just make sure that's what they look like. And you can get these um, in a bigger size, or you can get really small ones, but they have the same effect. Pyrite, as you see, is this silver color, and what do they say about these in the book? I actually use them for protection stones. So to my surprise, these are not actually in the book. Um, at least I can't find them, but I personally use these for protection stones. They're really pretty. They, the glitter effect is so pretty. Let me see if I can try to get it on camera. 
I actually got these. These are the first stones that I'm showing you guys that are from Amazon. These are so pretty. You see them a lot if you follow Newish by Shantae um, because I take them to photo shoots all the time. I just think they're really pretty. They're reflective. Like if you could see my room right now, these are like <laughs> reflecting all over my wall. And I just think that these are so pretty. These are actually what they call a cluster of crystals and they're um, the genocide, genocide. I don't know, I'm gonna put it right here on the screen um, because I'm not sure how to pronounce it. These actually get cracked open and it's, they're first a rock and then you can crack them open and this is what's inside. They're really, really pretty and sometimes people even um, have these put into um wedding ring forms and also people people put a lot of crystals into wedding ring forms if you guys were unfamiliar diamonds are actual crystals so if you have a diamond ring a real diamond ring you have a crystal on your ring if you have a ruby you have a crystal on your ring if you have um sapphire that's a crystal <laughs> so just because these are more not um not as popular i guess you can say they're actually popular now but just because these are not as popular doesn't mean anything so do not be afraid of what you don't know just try to find out more about it so this whole time you probably have been wearing diamonds in your ring and you're wearing crystals so if you say i don't support crystals then you don't support diamonds and you should take off your wedding ring <laughs> next crystal this is more of a stone you know what i have a brain fart because i don't remember what this crystal is actually called um but I remember that um, I got it from a crystal shop and I remember that when I went into the crystal shop it said that it would help with um, grounding so I got it. This is actually just a quartz I believe and quartz are really powerful for overall amplifying energy. It has a very broad um, spectrum of, of what it can do so it says in the book that it has a powerful healing and energy amplifier on the planet because of its unique spiral crystalline form found worldwide and it absorbs stores releases and regulates energy and is excellent from for unblocking any type of negative energy so I also have these as well and this is an angel aura crystal so uh, the minute that i found out it was an angel oral crystal you know i grabbed that <laughs> because i love angels they're so pretty so this has a little bit of pink inside of it if you guys can see a little bit of pink is inside there so these can definitely look different um based on which one you get and the size and things like that and this is definitely good for purifying energy so this is a piece of jade and jade rock is for prosperity and i love the color of this which is why i got it so i believe this is jade but i'm not gonna don't quote me on that some of the crystals i'll get them and i won't put the name by them so i'll forget what they are but they still are doing their job so, okay, what else do I have in here? I have some more pieces of amethyst, but I've already showed you guys that. This is another piece of the um, angel oral crystal. I have a lot of pieces of those. This right here is black onyx. Love this crystal. And as you guys can see, it's completely black. This is known for its ability to um, absorb negative energy. And so this is a piece of amber. And I don't know if it's focusing. Okay, this is a piece of amber. Amber is actually not a crystal. It's actually just um, tree sap. So let me see what it says in the book about it. Okay, so it even says in the book, strictly speaking, amber is not a crystal at all. It is tree risen that reason that solidifies and becomes fossilized. So like I said, it's not a crystal but it also has its properties. So it says in the book that Amber is a powerful healer and cleanser that draws dis-ease, not disease, dis-ease from the body. So disease is basically um, another word for having a discord in your body, having dis dis dis-ease in your body. Your body's not at ease at that moment. So you know what? I don't remember the exact name of this, but I do know that this crystal is for prosperity and wealth. And abundance 
And remember, abundance is more than money. So here's another clear course because I'm obsessed with those. I have a I have um, a couple different clear courses. So I'm obsessed with those. This is also a grounding stone and it works kind of like amethyst. So this right here is the last stone I'm gonna show you guys and this is a moon. So moon stones are great for people who have high emotions. So let me see what the actual properties are. So it says in the book that moonstone is great for new beginnings. It's called this, it's also known as the stone of new beginnings and its name suggests that it's strongly connected to the moon and to the intuition. And like the moon, the stone is reflective and remind us and reminds us that in everything in nature has cycles, including human beings. Its most powerful effect is that it's of is that it calms the emotions. So like I said, this is for people who have highly sensitive sensitive emotions. This is a seashell that I got from the beach when I went to the beach. Um, and then I believe Naraya brought me back some seashells. Yeah, Naraya brought me back seashells when she went to um, the beach with her dad. So seashells are also very powerful. So I have a couple more crystals in here and I do not know the names of them at all. And I'm not even gonna try to figure it out. So this looks like an amethyst piece of amethyst but it's actually not i don't know the name of that one so these are my little crystals as well and i know that this one here is a um grounding stone this stone here i think is called lapazoid or something like that which is for um communication helping you with communication so these crystals can be found on Amazon. If you guys um, want crystals, they can be found on Amazon or you can actually go to a crystal shop where there will actually be someone who specializes in the crystals and can help you pick out crystals and tell you like all about them before you purchase them. Um, they also have crystals in the science museum. If you ever go to a science museum, that's where I got my first crystal. They have them there as well because of course, crystals are a part of science. So they have them in a science museum for kids to pick up as well. So that was an overview of my crystal collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this really low key video. Um, I didn't want it to be too much, so I just wanted it to be a really low-key, relaxing video. So hope you guys enjoy that. This is also down in the description box for you guys if you want to get more information on crystals. This has a lot of information in there, especially if you're new to figuring everything out. Oh, by the way, my um, silk sets, my skincare sets all come with a clear quartz crystal. So one of my subscribers actually let me know that they knew nothing about crystals and then they bought one of my sets and seen that um, I sent them a crystal. So this is the crystal. I don't have it here with me, but I can show you guys what I'm talking about. The sets come with Oh my gosh, the sets come with this here, which is a um, clear quartz crystal. So it's not gonna be this in particular. It's not gonna actually look just like this, but um, she was so happy. A lot of you ha have been so happy with the results of um, getting that set just because you're getting a really, really pretty rock with it. Um, but she let me know that she looked at the benefits and she thought that it was really cool. So yeah, guys, that's, most of my crystals not okay i'm not i'm not gonna lie that's not all of my crystals but that is what i wanted to share with you guys today if you guys like this video i'm probably gonna do a more um formal bigger video with a lot more crystals it just depends on how you guys like this but if you do like it then give it a thumbs up okay so i hope you guys enjoy that um little display of my crystals and let me know how you like like that setup and everything and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.